it was just a sleepy little road course at the threshold of the wine country 40 years ago. Today it's a world recognized first cabin facility. remember my first years here in the, in the first NASCAR races and what a struggle it was to try and put on an event of that magnitude at this facility that essentially had no infrastructure and no garages and working out of the back of their trucks and trying to squeeze into this tiny paddock and fighting traffic. The rest of it's been good history, strong history. You know, it's the number one attended event of any kind, any sporting event at all in Northern California annually. I mean, it speaks for itself. Well, I would have never believed it's, it's risen to the height that it has, number one. When you're 20-something years old and trying to figure who you're going to be in this business, you don't think about 40 years down the road. I was at the very first meeting, which was at a, a Mexican restaurant in the square up in Sonoma uh, with the original principals, and it was kind of like the football coach that has to go over and teach uh, English one day. I was barely one day ahead of the class. I was maybe just an hour ahead of the class. They thought I knew a lot, and the fact was I didn't know much, but it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> We had some fabulous events in the late 60s and the early 70s. Uh, we had an Indianapolis car race here sanctioned by USAC, which was, was a great event. We had a Trans Am in the heyday of the Trans Am series, which nobody will ever forget. And that was the largest crowd at that point we'd ever had here, and we had a lot of people here. Looking back, I've been here about 16 years now, and I think that um, one of the things that really stands out was that um, Dale Earnhardt winning his first ever road race on our track uh, and the fact that he had this just spectacular pass of Mark Martin in Carousel, which just isn't a place that you're supposed to pass anybody. Uh, and being here and seeing him win his first road race was a, was a real treat and something I think I'll always remember. Uh, last year won Pablo Montoya, uh, being the first foreign-born driver to win a NASCAR race at this track and having a, a great talent like Montoya with a great history in Formula One and IndyCars actually have his first victory on our track was, a, was, was something that I'll always remember. And then last year with the, uh, the whole celebration we had of Eric Medlin's life and the ice cream social and the, his family and to have the force team actually come back and win that race last year was really a, a special weekend. Thank you, John. I'll tell you what, the cars have made their way onto this race course, and look at the tremendous crowd that has gathered for this event. It is just amazing. We had a major traffic problem a little bit earlier, but everybody's in now, and we're ready to go for this 300-kilometer race. In -car the experience of coming out to this track, the racing was great. The, uh, the experience as a fan in terms of fighting your way in and, and uh, finding a place to park in a little spot on the hillside, uh, over the years, that, that experience has, has been elevated, and I think our company, I'm very proud that Speedway Motorsports has really set the, the uh, standard in terms of giving fans a, a professional, comfortable environment to come out and enjoy the, enjoy the sport. Uh, this has always been a great track. The, the competition on the track has always been very exciting, but the physical facilities here were, were pretty rough when we first came on board. And, uh, the fact that we've had the support from our corporation to really transform this place into, I think, one of the most compelling venues for any kind of sporting uh, competition, from the access, the seating, the uh, spectacular setting that we have here in the Sonoma Valley, that, uh, and in the facilities that we have for the competitors to really make this a, uh, a fully professional um, facility that they can enjoy and, and uh, be on par with the other top facilities in the country. 
one of the things that's really gratifying, the feedback that we get from the from the teams is that this is one of their favorite venues, and that not only because the the professional facilities that we're able to provide now, but also just to be able to come up and, and spend time in Sonoma County and and enjoy the, the terrific ambiance and, and the things that this market has to offer. All right. We're obviously very proud when you look back and see some of those pictures. The core element here is just a great racetrack, and if you look back uh, at those races and, and the faces that were, were competing here, the, the track has always been what has drawn people here because it's a terrific track, uh, great road course, great drag strip, and the racing and the legacy of racing here has, has been uh, fantastic. I've been involved with tracks for many years all over the country, all over the world for that matter, and they have really done a nice job of making this place welcome a race fan. We reached a point from where we were struggling year to year to, to put a, a full slate of events on the schedule to now, if you look at every major form of professional racing that's available in the United States, from uh, NASCAR stock cars, uh, professional motorcycles, uh, terrific vintage race that we do in June with Steve Earle, um, the uh, NHRA Nationals, and, um, and now a unified IndyCar series. And as great as that's going to be this year, I think it's just going to provide the foundation in future years for, for something that's going to um, just be a phenomenal event. And we're really excited about that news.